Hey guys, Big Air Zero One here. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a little project, a uh, little work on my project, uh, Little Air, uh, for my youngest son now, who's next in line to ride this little bad boy. Um, one of the things I've been doing some research on is uh, getting rid of the oil injection system. So I went ahead and purchased a uh, block off kit from eBay. It cost me about forty bucks. So we're gonna install that on my son's 1983 Yamaha PW50. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, so the, the kit came with uh, this block off kit. It's just basically gonna sit just like that in there. Um, it came with two screws to, or two bolts to mount it. And it also came with, uh, as you can see it there, a little block off for the carburetor, that little rubber piece there. It also came with pretty detailed instructions on how to do it. Pretty simple to do. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by removing the plastic. So you've got one bolt on each side for the front fender so I can take the oil sump off because I don't need that anymore. You've got two bolts underneath the seat here to remove and then we're gonna remove the exhaust as well. To remove the exhaust, you've got two bolts here, a bolt here and a bolt here. Okay, so because I'm going to a, be mixing my own fuel from now on, I need to drain the gas tank because you don't want to have gas fuel or gas oil mixture uh, to be lean. So I'm just going to drain the whole tank. And I'm going to do that by removing this hose here from the carburetor. And I might as well go ahead and remove this is your oil pump hose, but uh, you got to remove that uh, as well. So, and we're going to put this uh, little uh, cap that comes with it. Uh, you don't want this to get uh, any air in there. Okay, so you're going to pull your oil line off like I did there, and then you're going to slide this little black uh, cover over top of the so it doesn't suck any oil or water or any kind of air in there. It's like that, and then that, that'll stay like that. This is from your oil uh, injection. So now I'm going to drain this oil reservoir uh, and save the oil because we don't need this anymore on the front of the bike because now we're mixing our gas so i'm going to take the reservoir off and cap off the oil line that comes off the bottom Okay, so now we're gonna move, remove the cover. And we're gonna pull the black line up the top and then out the side like this. And disconnect from the pump itself. And we're gonna remove this oil line right here. Give this some room. So to remove this oil pump, you gotta remove that, that screw that is right there. And also the screw on the top, which is right there. Okay, so this whole thing should just pop right out once you've got the bolts all loosened. So 
So that's all out. I'll unhook the, the line. So that's your oil pump all out. Um, and now it's just a matter of putting it all back, having the new one plugged back in there. So I'll just clean it up real quick. Okay, so the instructions say that it has to be go, go on this way. So I put a little bit of oil on the O-ring and we're just gonna slide it right in there. And otherwise, apparently it doesn't fit any other way. And then just use the bolts provided. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's all in there, uh, hooked up. Uh, obviously, you're gonna wanna make sure that you watch this to make sure there's no oil leaking out of here. This is your transmission oil in here. So you wanna make sure that this doesn't leak. I don't suspect it will because it's at the top. And uh, so yeah, now we're just gonna disconnect the oil cable from the line. Okay, so to disconnect the cable, we have to pull this apart. Uh, I've already got the the uh the oil half out so um just basically pulling this apart and i don't plan on hooking up the oil cable anymore so i'm just gonna snip this pull it out of there so i'm just going to clean this all up uh put the exhaust back on uh, mix the gas, which I think it says uh, 40 to 1 or 32 to 1 to mix it for this. So it's all back together. I've already had it running and I want to tell you a few things that I noticed right away uh, with this uh, changeover. So one of the reasons why I'm actually doing this is eventually I'm going to redo the top end on this. So with that I wanted to make sure that I was uh, having the right fuel oil mixture uh, put into the into the head so that I don't actually burn out the heads when I put a new head on there And not only that I've done a little bit of research on these bikes and they say that the oil injector Pump doesn't always work correctly So one thing I noticed when I put this thing all back together is that if this thing sits for You know a month or so it can be really really hard to start uh, when I go to started up with the old oil injection. And I don't know if this is because of the oil wasn't mixed properly in the carburetor or what, or it wasn't getting enough. I mean, I've used this bike, you saw on the tank, the tank was only half full. I've never filled it. So, um, you know, basically, I believe it was working correctly, but something was causing it to not start right away. So it would take several, several kicks for it to start. I found it so much easier and faster to start uh, this dirt bike uh, when I switched over to uh, my own mixing of the fuel so that's one positive that changing this oil um, injector pump and and basically blocking it off and mixing it yourself the other thing that I did notice is that the motor actually revs higher and I don't know if it's because maybe I've got a higher octane fuel that I'm using now plus the mixture but in any sort the bike revs a lot higher uh, than it was before which tells me that it was bogging down and possibly carboning up so maybe now it'll run better I mean it ran good but uh, it never seemed to really get into the power band so um, but yeah so I think it runs a lot better so that's going to do it for this video so if you want to leave a like uh, on the video it would be much appreciated um, if you want to leave a comment or a question put the question down below I do my best to answer all the questions that get put to me on all my motorcycles. I've got my WR250R that I do a little bit of uh, videos on. I've got about 30 videos on that and I've got about five or six videos on this PW50. So if you want to check out those videos, check them out on my channel. And obviously uh, don't forget to subscribe. 
Um, only 10% of my viewers are subscribed, so it'd be much appreciated if you like this video to subscribe and uh, if you want to see more videos on this bike and also my WR250R. So thanks for watching.